Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and today we're gonna talk about some useful, very, very useful apps, and especially on this video, I'm gonna talk about my M1 MacBook Pro, but of course, these apps are compatible for all the macOS devices, we can say. So if you are interested to that, just leave a like right now before the video starts. And after you did that, let's roll the intro. So welcome back to the video and I am seated here on my desk because I am going to show you the best apps to do to install on your Mac and I'm going to use, as I said before, my MacBook Pro. And if these apps are compatible with this M1 chip, they are mostly compatible with all the Mac OS devices, of course. So let's start with the first app. And my first pick, it is Amphetamine. <laughs> Don't worry about the weird name because it can be just a little bit misleading, maybe, but it is not. And it is actually a very useful app. And you can see it right here on the top of my screen. I am recording also the screen of my laptop. And what this app basically does, if you are using like external keyboard or maybe external monitors and you want to use your laptop without the power cord and you want to use it also with your lid closed also when you are on battery without letting your laptop going to sleep, you're going to use this app, so Amphetamine. And as you can see right here, there is a start new session right here and you can choose actually for how much your computer will not go asleep, we can say, when you close the lid. And so you can see it is indefinitely, or maybe you can choose some minutes, some hours, or maybe while, while you are downloading something, or maybe while some apps in specific are running. And for example, I've used it uh, the other day to just watch a movie. And so I didn't want the laptop with the screen open, of course. And so I just launched this Amphetamine app and I've chose the movie player app. And so it didn't went to sleep. So very, very useful. And of course there are a lot of preference that you can edit right here. Maybe you can set your uh, hotkeys to just start like a quick session that you like the most, or maybe you can change maybe the appearance of the icon up there. Maybe you don't like the pill. Maybe you want the coffee, you want some cup of coffee or tea and also you have maybe some statistics at the end and so that's basically it so if you need this app very very useful if you are using as I said before like external stuff like monitors especially and external mouse and keyboard of course then the second app that I am recommending it is an app called uh, Dropover that you can find actually on the app store so you just open the app store and you just find this drop over. And I forgot to mention that all of these apps are just uh, free apps. So you don't need to spend no money on that. So again, thumbs up for that because thumbs up for also these developers because are letting us use these uh, very useful apps for free. So the second one, as I was saying, it is a drop over. So you can find it on the app store. And as you can see right here, it says upgrade to pro because I have 14 days uh, left in the trial mode. But if you click on that, it says that actually after the 14 days, you can still use the app, of course. And the only downside we can say, it will keep saying that you have to upgrade to Pro. If this one doesn't bother you, just keep going with the trial version or maybe just pay four euros or whatever in your region and you're good to go pretty much. So what basically does, I'm going to show you right now what it does. So if you go in any folder, we can say right here and you just pick a file and you just move it, the cursor like this, like that, you can see a little square that says drop files right here. So you drop the files right there and you can move, of course, this window, this little window around. And maybe you don't have maybe some screen estate because you are working on a laptop like this that is 13 inches. So you can just open just uh, multiple windows around your screen and you just need to move some files from a folder to another, just some stuff like that. So you just install this app, you just drag a file in this little box and then you go in the folder that you need and maybe you need another file from this folder too. And you just drag it on this little window. So you have two files right there 
and then you can you can go on another folder on a third folder for example and you can just uh, drag and drop all those files without any problem so you don't have to select multiple files then copy it to a folder then select other file and then copy another time to another folder so you just drag all your files that you need in this little box and then you can copy it in into another folder it is very very easy and very very handy then the same thing it can applies also not only to files but maybe uh, for text for images for stuff uh, find it on the web like this I am on my YouTube page and so if I select for example this text right here I just move the cursor and you can see the, the little box appears I can just drop it right there and you can see this is a text and so I can just drag it and drop it on my finder as you can see very very useful also if I search some images on Google for example I can just drag this image right here you can see I just drop it right there and and I have my image right there uh, ready to be copied and pasted like somewhere else where I want it so very very useful and powerful tool and then another very useful app that I use very often it is an app called share it that maybe you have already heard about that and it is used to share as the name of the app just says uh, some files between different devices for example I have my MacBook right here of course and also I have my Windows PC right here but also I have my phone that it is an Android phone so they are all different system and every time I cannot use like uh, cloud storage because I have to upload the file I have to download it again uh, back and forth so I just use this app when I have to share like quick files or maybe like uh, medium size not too heavy files because you can open the app right here as I can show it right now so this is the share it app so I just use it mostly just to receive some files on this laptop because because I used to send files from my desktop PC to this one or maybe if I have to uh, share some quick images or photos from my smartphone I just use this app for all of these three different devices you just have to select the file just drag and drop it for example I have to send this image from my uh, desktop PC right here you're not gonna see it on my desktop PC because I am recording only the laptop so I'm gonna hit send on my desktop and as you can see on my laptop very useful tool that I really use very often then for the fourth app it's not really like a very useful app if you compare it to the other apps that I've said because this one is kind of uh, useful but not essential we can say and as you can see you can see it already right now on my laptop screen because it is uh, this on the top right here so the stats of my computer so you can see the usage of CPU GPU the usage of my SSD of course the temperature of CPU and GPU and also if the fan it is on active mode or maybe it is not spinning and if I click on that you can see a very in-depth stat and also you can see the network how it is going and you can see a lot of things right here the temperature of every sensors very very useful I mean it is not essential but if you are just uh, maybe a nerd like me and you are interested into that stuff I really recommend this app that is called that it is called uh, iStat menus and you can just edit as you wish pretty much every preference right here to show on the top bar or maybe to hide it you can see right here you have different icon to select with different designs so you have a lot of stuff really really a great app in my opinion if you are into the monitoring stuff of your hardware of course then another very useful app especially if you are coming from Windows like me it is a uh, change I think it's called I don't know exactly how it is pronounced but you can see it right here so if I search change this is the app so you can see change preferences and of course you have pretty much a small thing to tick right here so 
you just have to automatically uh, open this up at the login and enable this app and then you can you are good to go you can close it and what it basically does it just activates the magnet windows we can say as you can find it also on windows as i drag this window around and i just hit the corners right here so you can see these squares around the window so if i let go my mouse it just snap the window on the side and if i drag it it just brings to the normal form so if i drag it on the top you can see full screen right on very very useful so this is really an essential feature to me because i use a lot of uh, multi-window on my screen and i usually work on multi-monitor so this feature is just a must for me, especially as I said before, because I come from Windows and this is a default feature on Windows, but uh, macOS doesn't have this feature. And I've heard a lot of people that are using Magnet, but that one, it is a paid version of pretty much the same app. So I like to use more <laughs> free apps. And this one, it is working pretty good and is doing the job that I need. So I'm just suggesting to you to use that app. And I mean, you can try it, it's free. And if you don't like it, just go for other apps. And then I have another bonus app for you. And this one, it is essential, but if you are using macOS all the time, pretty much you don't need uh, this app. But if you are uh, using different systems like me, like Windows, like macOS and other systems, uh, you probably will need this app. Not for sure, but maybe you're gonna need it anyway. So this app is called uh, Monty and you can see the little icon right here that is a mountain, but it's called Mountain because it can just remount your external drive to make it read it by your Mac. So you can just plug in an external drive also formatted for Windows system or other system and it can be read also on the macOS. So you can just copy and paste your files into your external hard drive without formatting them. Maybe if you have already a full drive full of stuff and you don't want to move your stuff or maybe just format the drive, use this app because it is working very good. Just use the function remount that you have on this app because as you plug in any external drive, they will appear right here in this hub. You can see it right on. You just click it, remount, and in a second, you can read and write your external hard drive without formatting them. So very, very useful app, I repeat, if you are using a different system with the same external hard drive, for example. So that was pretty much it. This was my top five or maybe six apps that I use pretty much every time in my laptop. There are some others that I use also every day, but uh, maybe if you're interested to that, I will do maybe another video. These were maybe the app that you can also use it, or maybe you didn't know that uh, they existed. So I just did the video to let you know about all these free apps, because there are a lot of different apps that does the same jobs of uh, these apps that I've shown you, but you have to pay for them and this one are free. So if you found that uh, this video was useful somewhat, just hit a like button down below because it's free, like most of these apps. And also if you haven't subscribed to this channel, just subscribe right now because it's free too. So why don't do it? And I think for this video, that was pretty much it. So I will see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye for now. Thank you.